everybody okay we're back I got uh, two things delivered um, one I'm still using this older monitor I haven't got a new monitor yet so I had to get me a uh, display port to DVI D cord along with the SSD so let's uh, open this up right here okay so uh, here's the um, display port to DVI-D and the 240 gig scan disk SSD. So um, I, I have software already that I'm going to use um, for this. Um, I have uh, already put it in, but I'm going to pull it back out and show you. Uh, this is what I got from Best Buy I've used before. This is the, uh, I guess, Apricorn um, upgrade upgrade suite right here. Uh, but this is to bring everything over. Um, now I also have. It also came when I got this, and I've used it for my laptop before. Uh, three point uh, USB 3.0 uh, SATA. Get everything uh, up and running. Cable. I'm not going to use any type of capture from the computer. Um, because I'm going to be merging everything, partitions, and also I'm going to just have the camera uh, filming the screen. So I have uh, the SSD connected, and what we're going to do is we're just going to run this right here from right the here. CD. We're just going to start it. Um, it should go ahead and find everything. It's okay, going to. So you can see right here. Uh, we're just going to do. Let's get started. It's going to start scanning for the devices um, and everything else. Okay, so right here we can see obviously the drive that we want to copy is going to be uh, the first one right here. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and select that. We'll hit next. Um, where we want to copy it to, hit next. So right here it's asking you're almost ready to clone. Please verify that everything's correct. Um, you can see up here it has copy mode, drive the drive source. So it's going to be our WDC, da 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 da, and then our solid state. It's super, it's, I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. Um, you just follow through with everything. All right, so here we go. We're ready right here. Let's get ready to start. Once I push this, I'm going to double check again. Everything is correct because if you were to clone your SSD to your hard drive, it's going to wipe it. You're going to be screwed. Um, so make sure, make sure your source and your destination drives are correct. And it's going to ask you one more again and start copying. So um, as this goes on, I'm just going to let it load up and then I'll cut to the end and let you know uh, how long it actually took. Okay, so what we got here is it started at about 12%. Um, it's been about a minute and 40 seconds. It's got about 14 minutes remaining and it's transferring about 130 to 140 megabytes uh, per second. All right, guys, y'all are not going to believe what happened, but in the middle of me doing this, the, the, the damn power went out. So I completely lost power about halfway through. I'm going to try to boot up my computer and see um, see what's going to happen. I don't even know if I'm going to have to reformat everything or not. Oh, man. Yeah, the power had been out for about three and a half hours now. Uh, I don't really know what happened. Uh, we had a little rainstorm. I don't. I don't know, but the computer cut off, and here we are, right here. It looks like Windows didn't didn't load correctly. Let's do I'll try to restart it again. But you know, at least it wasn't when I was doing the BIOS update. Now it's working on updates or something. So I'll bring it back in a minute. All right, so I made it back over here to. Uh, Activate the CD. The system rebooted fine. No issues at all. Um, so now the main thing is going to be seeing if uh, you know this SSD is still in good shape. And um, if anything is on it, what I'm going to have to do to get everything off of it to transfer over and clone the file again. Alright, so it brought everything back again for me to pick the, the source and then pick the destination drive. Um, so I'm going to do all this again. And and see what happens. It appears that everything is uh, is fine. That in the middle of the clone, um, having that power go out 
as of right this second, does not appear to have uh, um, okay. So here we are here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that completely, but I'll read it to you. Um, it just says, all the data on the destination drive will be permanently erased once the cloning process begins. So please double check. So I do want that to happen. That's just going to be all the information that was previously put on before the power went out. Uh, that's just my luck. I mean, of all, of all things that could go wrong, uh, that would be it. Now, I'll tell you what's, uh, what's funny is... Um, Yesterday, I had a BIOS update, and I, was, I, and I never hardly ever lose power. Um, even around, we have hurricanes around here, and even during hurricanes, very rarely will I lose power. Um, and during that BIOS update, I was like, oh, please don't let like a car hit something, a pole or something like that. Um, so, because that did happen to me, I probably should have had it before, but I am going to buy a, uh, a battery uh, backup um, and have have here under the desk and plug in the main components to it so I don't never have to worry about that happening again. So it looks like everything's working. It's back up and running. So uh, you'll get to fast forward through all this and we'll see it when it's done. All right, so everything's done. And basically it says a complete copy has been created. The destination medium must uh, has been adjusted. I'm sorry. Please remove the destination drive before restarting your computer, okay? So, um, uh, right here, I'm just going to quit. I'm going to quit. Okay. So, what I have now is um, I'm going to remove uh, the SSD right here. Then I'm going to restart the computer. All right. So, now everything's turned off. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and um, disconnect. The solids, I mean, I'm sorry, the regular hard drive from right here. All right, so I've disconnected the old um, hard drive, put in the new solid state drive, and let's see if she'll boot. There we go. I don't know if you saw how fast that was, uh, but it is up, it's running, and um, it is, I mean, wow. Night and day difference on speed, night and day. Okay, so everything's up, everything's running. Um, I have uh, the original hard drive back in there. I put another hard drive that I've had for a while. It's a 750 gig, um, 72 RPM. Uh, Seagate drive in there as well, so I am waiting on the uh, SATA cables to come from Amazon. These are not uh, long enough, the ones I have. So they're coming, they should be here, I think Tuesday, so two days. Um, so I'll do another video once those uh, cables come in, going over the install um, of that, getting that up and running, uh, setting the partitions and everything else up on those drives. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. There will also be a link right here that you can click to subscribe.